I'm with continuing coverage of a story we first brought you a few days ago. I'm Dave McKinley. After a settlement reached with the state attorney general's office involving alleged mistreatment of patients at a Buffalo nursing home, the families of those patients are speaking out. Join your side's Alyssa Clausell has the story tonight. Alyssa? Dave, that $45 million settlement resulting in major reforms to four nursing homes across the state including one right here in Buffalo. And tonight, one of the families that blew the whistle on the treatment experienced by patients speaking out. Sorry. And it's about time. Yeah, yeah, hopefully for I mean. Any, for any nursing home. After years of mistreatment. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, maybe it sends a message, you know, to uh, exactly. take care of them people, you know. That message being sent to a Buffalo nursing home courtesy of the New York State Attorney General's office after announcing a $45 million settlement with nursing home operator Centers for Care LLC, forcing major reforms at four nursing homes across the state, including one right here in Buffalo. For James Quinn Jr. and his mother, it's a victory worth celebrating. It's, I felt no control. I don't think he did either. Yeah, it's it's a bit I frustrating. Yeah, yeah, you know, and uh, especially someone with dementia, or, you know, Alzheimer's right. like that, who really can't, you know, remember. In 2020, his father, a patient at the dementia unit at the Buffalo Center, was at the hands of the alleged mistreatment outlined by the AG's office. He was pale to a point to where you can see purple under his skin, you know what I mean, and uh, yeah, dehydrated. James, at one point during his father's month-long stay, driving past who he thought was a total stranger. I didn't recognize him. Nah, his hair was overgrown. I mean, he had, a, I mean, he was, yeah, his nails, I mean, everything was, it's, it's almost like he was there and nobody was paying attention to his presence. That stranger was actually his dad, who escaped from the facility after pulling a fire alarm. They come in, they, they went out and got my dad. I, that's when I realized it was him. Leaving James with questions surrounding just what his dad had experienced during his day. He had, um, you know, dementia. I mean, I'm sure that month or so he was there had to be pretty horrific for him to pull a fire, <laughs> to, to you know, to pull a fire alarm and, you know, get out of the building. But now with those in power being held accountable, James and his mother with one final message. Instead of worrying about money, you, you, you know, worry about uh, people. And all four of the homes identified in this suit, including Buffalo Center, are now required to make reforms such as increased staffing, all of which will be monitored by the state. On your side in the newsroom, Melissa Clausell, Channel 2 News.